I want to bring in Peggy Grandy, uh, President Reagan's assistant when he left the White House. She wrote a book about her experience. It is called The President Will See You Now. Very good title there. Peggy, welcome to the program. Great to see you. Thank you so much for having me on. You started as an intern, I believe. Tell me about the phone call you took on your first day. Well, it's maybe a miracle that I had a second day at work because the first day at work I was sitting at my desk, the phone rang, and sure enough, I picked it up and said, Office of Ronald Reagan, and the voice on the other line asked for one of the staff members, and I unknowingly said, may I tell him who's calling? And he said, well... It's Ronald Reagan. <laughs> and as embarrassed as I was, I put the call through, and thankfully he gave me another chance. But that iconic voice coming through the phone, I just never imagined it would become such a familiar part of my day and my life. Um, I've got, I'm looking at my teleprompter here, and there's a sentence written, and it says, Reagan refused to walk in front of women. What? Now, I don't know whether that's a typo or what, but what, what, what's that all about? Well, he was very old school and gentlemanly with his manners, and so he was very uncomfortable walking in front of women. And in fact, if there was a Secret Service woman posted behind him, we had to remind him that it was her job, and he needed to actually run, walk in front of her. Um, but even to the point of taking the stage, so if I happened to be standing there and he was announced, Ronald Reagan, the 40th President of the United States, and the curtains parted, if I was standing there, he would motion, you know, as if to go after me. And I'd say, they're not here to see me, Mr. President. And he'd Okay. Well, then they'll have to wait. Oh, hold <laughs> so on, I learned very quickly I had to disappear. Hold on, but one second. I've got announced. David Stockman with me. He was in the White House in the early 1980s. <laughs> Is it true yeah. that Ronald Reagan refused to remove his suit jacket on the grounds that he was in the Oval Office in respect of the office? Uh, absolutely. Is that, true? I, absolutely. that is true. Absolutely. I never saw him in a condition where he wasn't respectful of everyone from the highest ranking to the lowest ranking person that I saw come through the Oval Office. Not bad. He had an amazing uh, temperament. He was a gentleman, that's what he was. Now, hold on a sec, Peggy. Uh, I believe you had to find, I think in the middle of the night, a gift for Mikhail Gorbachev of Russia. Tell us. It became a worldwide quest to find the perfect Stetson cowboy hat for Ronald Reagan to give to Gorbachev when he came up to the ranch. And so it really turned into this big quest because how do you know Gorbachev's hat size? And back in the day when you couldn't Google that, it did become quite a project. And thankfully, when we got the hat and Gorbachev put it on, it fit perfectly. Although I have to say that we did get a call from Stetson later saying that Gorbachev had put the hat on backwards. <laughs> Peggy, I like the sound of your book. That is, The President Will See You Now. Congratulations on a great book, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much for having me on.